Smooth. Smoothing. All right. So we're coming to, I don't know. I think this is one of the most useful uh, useful <laughs> small patches that I copy and paste from constantly. Yeah. This data smoother. So we want to control a movie with the values that we're getting from the microphone. In other words, like well, we're going to show three different ways to doing it. Uh, of doing it. One would be to actually scrub around. One would be to change the playback speed dynamically based on how loud you're talking. So the movie plays faster, the louder you talk. The other would be sort of like turning it on or off with your uh, with a clap or something or a snap or something like that. Um, but first, uh, let's we're going to focus on like if we were going to scrub our video based on the loudness of the microphone, we probably are going to need to smooth out the values a little bit. So. Um, <clears throat> I just wanted to show this little orange patch here. This is uh, inside here. This is actually a um, really simple sort of math trick. It's this feedback loop. You can see the green connection here is causing this feedback loop. Um, I could, you know, I don't want to explain all of this, but essentially you put you put data in here and it gets caught up in this feedback loop and in in a way this so this is called a one pole low pass filter. So it basically smooths out data. <clears throat> uh, numbers. You put numbers into here, not audio. So you put some numbers in there. So we're getting numbers from peak amp, and the numbers are kind of, you know, they're uh, erratic. You can see as I talk here, these numbers are going up and down. This is very, um, this graph is very pointy, mm -hmm. right? It's very uh, uh, dynamic. So uh, if we want to smooth that out, like if we wanted to basically, you know what? I'm just going to show it. You'll see. There you You'll go. get it. You'll get it. All right. So peak amp 20. It's given us this really jagged graph. So um, the smoother takes the data in the left inlet and it takes a zero to one value in the right inlet. That zero to one value is the amount of smoothing. So you can have zero smoothing and you can have all the way up to 1.0 smoothing. 1.0 is a little weird because if you set it to actually to one, it just gets stuck wherever it was. Yeah. But if you set it to something like Let's see. Oh, you can see right away. You can see that the graph is now a little bit smoother. So yeah. we're, we're at 0 0.89. And you can see it's just not as jagged. It's yeah, just kind of... Yeah, peaks and valleys are yeah. fluid. Yeah. And we could really smooth it out. So like if we go to 0.95, you can see that it's now it's really quite smooth. And if I'm quiet for a second, it dips down to zero. But, it, you know, it doesn't fall right down to zero. Um so I could increase the volume on the mic here and let's see, let's go up to like 2.0 or something, 3.0. So now, um, oh, that's a little high. Okay, sorry. All right, so now we have a very smooth signal and let's make it a little less smooth. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, so it's really smoothed out versus... Take it back down I, and it's all it's like... Now it's super jagged again, even though we are still, no, this is no smoothing at all, super jagged. So I I don't know, I've used this in maybe 50% of the patches that I make now. I use data smoothing in some way and it's useful in all kinds of dis different situations. Mm -hmm. um, but this data smoother is, there are other ways to smooth data. You don't have to use this goofy uh, one pull low pass trick. Um, there are other sort of more understandable ways to smooth data and I will have a whole set of tutorials about how to do that but for this one we're, we're going to use the, the smoother patch so all right